Hello everyone, welcome to today's lesson. We are going to discuss a question of one of the most interesting topics of general aptitude that is probability. Uh, many of you may not like this topic. It has been with us I think since class 11 and 12. It is also a part of your engineering mathematics subject and uh, today we will discuss a very interesting yet preliminary question of probability. Let's start. It has been given that there are three concentric circular strips on a dart. The probability of hitting the innermost circular lamina is 1 by 9. That of the central strip is 1 by 3. Of the outermost strip is 5 by 9. One gets 10 points for hitting the innermost lemma, uh, 6 for central strip and 2 for the outermost strip. What is the probability of getting at least 20 points in 3 attempts given that a target that is one of the 3 strips is never missed and the options are 1 by 81, 2 by 81, 52 by 7, 29 and 1 by 9. Okay, so pause the video, give the question a try. Once you have given it a good try, only then you are going to cross check it with the solution that we are going to discuss, right? So as I said, a very uh, easy, it's not easy, but it's a preliminary question of probability. Let's see how we are going to go ahead with it. So we have three concentric circular strips and the probability of hitting in the three strips has been given. So if you hit the center, it is one by nine, the central part, one by three and outermost means five by nine. So if I think about the dart, uh, or uh, the strips to be in this manner. So if you hit this innermost part, it is 1 by 9. The probability of hitting is 1 by 9 and you get 10 points for this. And if you hit the center or the middle portion, then the probability is 1 by 3 and you get 6 points. And if you hit the outermost part, the probability is 5 by 9 and the number of points you get is 2. Now they are saying that in 3 attempts, what is the probability of getting at least 20 points? At least 20 points, right? At least 20 points means 20 points or more, right? 20 points or more. So 20, 21, 22, 23 and so on, right? So we need to find out, uh, first we need to find out how many points can a person get? Or what are the various ways by which those points can be, uh, you know, got or can be scored? So, let's see. The highest point is when you hit right in the center and that is 10, right? So, the maximum point that you can get is if you hit the center all the three times. All your three attempts, you're going to hit right in the center. So, that is going to be 10 plus 10 plus 10. That is equal to 30 points. This is the maximum points that you can get. So, we need to find values from this 20 to 30. Beyond 30 is not going to be possible, right? So, let's list down what are the possibilities. So, I have 10 plus 10 plus 10 is 30. Next, it is possible that I get 10 plus 10 plus 6. That is a 26. 10 plus 10 plus 2. That is going to be a 22. You have to list down all of these possibilities, right? And we are going to do this in a logical fashion. So, we start with the maximum and then we are going in the decreasing manner. So, then 10, 10 is all over. So, we move to 10 plus 6 plus 6, which is again going to be a 22. And then we have 10 plus 6 plus 2, which is going to be a 18. And if I go further down, it is going to be 10 plus 10 plus 2, that is going to be 14. Notice we are getting values that are less than 20 now, but we want 20 points or more. So, these values will not be considered. And the only possibilities are 30, 26, 22 and 22, right? So, I get all 3 in the inner circle or 2 in the inner circle, 1 in the center, 2 in the inner circle, 1 in the outermost. 1 in the center and 2 in the middle portion. These are the only possibilities that are there because we want to score 20 points or more. If I take further than this or if I take more cases means the number of points is becoming less than 20, right? So now what do I need to find out? I want to find simply the probability. So in the first case, what is the probability if I look at case 1? If I look at case 1 where I am hitting the innermost uh, part of the circle three times. What is the probability of hitting that part? It is 1 by 9, right? So, 1 by 9 and 1 by 9 and 1 by 9. This is the case 1, this case. The second case, 
I hit this innermost part once, innermost part again, and then the middle part. Middle part ka probability is given as 1 by 3. So let me write this as 3 by 9. What about the third case? Again, 1 by 9 and 1 by 9, and I'm hitting the outermost part, which is 5 by 9. And finally, I have 1 by 9 and 3 by 9 and 3 by 9. So this is how this is the individual probabilities that we have. And if we just add up the probabilities, we will get the final answer. Right? Correct? Is it correct? Or am I missing something? Is there something that I'm missing or is it is, is this correct? Think about it. Look at this second case. Is it not possible that I get something like 10 plus 6 plus 10? Or I get 6 plus 10 plus 10. All of these cases is going to give me the sum as 26. Right? What is this 10 plus 10 plus 6? It simply means that in the first attempt, you hit right in the center. Then second attempt, again, you hit right in the center. And then third, you hit the middle area. But it is also possible that the first attempt, you hit in the middle area. And then the last two, you hit in the center. Right? So, we also need to consider the arrangement in this case. We also need to consider the arrangement. It can be 10 plus 10 plus 6, it can be 10, 6, 10 or it can be 6, 10 and 10. So, what are the different possibilities that we have? We have three possibilities or to be more precise, it is 3 factorial by 2 factorial but into 3 we will do in this case. The same thing is going to apply for the next case as well. It can be 10 plus 2 plus 10, it can be 2 plus 10 plus 10 anyway. It is also going to be multiplied with 3. What about the last case? Same. Right? So, this is also going to be multiplied with 3. What about my first case? First case, it does not matter because in all of the three instances, you are hitting right in this innermost uh, portion. So, it does not matter. Right? So, this is what is going to be my final probability. So, now if I just add them up, we are going to add them because it is an OR question. If I add them up, my denominator is 9 into 9 into 9. So, let it be 729. First case, it's a 1 plus a 9 plus a 15 plus a 27. So, this is a 10, 37 and 52. So, 52 upon 729 and this is going to be the final answer. And the answer is option number C. So, is this clear? So, we start off with what are the different possibilities of scoring at least 20? Because they have said at least 20 means 20 or more. So, 20, 21, 22, any of these scores is possible. But what is the maximum that you can get if you hit the innermost part of the dart in all of your three attempts? The maximum score you get is 30, right? So, what are the possibilities within that 20 to 30? We need to list them down. So 30 means 10 plus 10 plus 10. All the three times you hit right in the center or 10 plus 10 plus 6. Or 10 plus 10 plus 2, 10, 6 and 6, right? So, now we associate probability with each instance and we also have to keep in mind the arrangement. So, it is possible that the first shot you hit in the innermost, next you hit in the most and last you hit in the middle part or first middle, then the last two innermost or innermost, then the middle, then the innermost. Any fashion is possible, any order is possible and that is the reason why we need to consider the arrangement or the permutation in that case. And we multiply it with 3. Where does this 3 come from? It comes from 3 factorial by 2 factorial. And if then you simplify, associate probability, add up and you get the final answer as 52 upon 729. Right? I hope this was clear. Let's look at the practice question for you. There are 7 boys and 8 girls in a class. A teacher has 3 items. That is a pen, pencil and eraser. Each 5 in number. He distributes the items 1 to each student. Uh, what is the probability that a boy selected at random has either a pencil or an eraser? The options are 2 by 3, 2 by 21, 14 by 45 and 7 by 15. Okay, uh, very easy, very simple. Uh, give it a try and uh, whatever answer you get, don't forget to comment below. If you have any doubts or any questions related to the problem we just discussed, then please leave your questions in the comment section below and I will definitely get back to you. Thank you so much for watching. All the best.